Hi. Uh, hello. Hi, Monica. Here we are. My new neighbor. Amazing <laughs> place. Where we are, tell me. I just wanted to rent a place. And I'm a very easy costumer. Then I propose to rent upstairs. There is a good apartment. This is, you know, a little bit like many people live together. Ah, okay. Kind of so-called vege. Vege? I'm looking this for a vege. I just okay. wanted to get a room. Nothing okay, else. then let's go. <laughs> let's go in. I'm looking for a woman called Rusaka. She's that? always occupying the bathroom. I know, I know. I, that's what I heard. And I see this, right? There is a big hole. That's Rusaka's secret, right? Yes. Okay. That's that's uh, what about is the this piece? We are in the apartment of Rusaka. She's a lost woman. A lot of identity questions, uh, and uh, we are in a vege. We're telling this story through our Berlin experience, as I'm uh, partly living in Berlin, she's coming very often, and we spend so much time in Vegas. Ah, okay, and you have extra lights in there. <laughs> that's very fancy. And it's also questions in big cities, that's why Berlin. It's uh, by music, by story, it's a pure fairy tale. But um, of course, it's always good that the audience can partly or somehow identify with the story. As we understood from the piece, she's really longing for change her life. And uh, the chosen one, the prince, doesn't come on time. He's late, as usual, in uh, in tales and movies. So at the end, she became an Irlicht, a ghost, a creature. And I felt like this romantic Dvořák idea connected to another Prague member, Franz Kafka, and just make a, a bridge uh, in between these two ideas. What does that mean to be different? And that's fully loaded this piece on this, in my opinion, very contemporary questions. Mm -hmm. 